Today we've been going hunting. We're gonna hunt some gorillas. Never been night ever around this box. Your name's Matt, right? Yes, yeah, indeed. Here you go, man. Thank you. Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Hello. Oh. Nice to see you. How you doing? Nice. Okay. Uh, what have you got for us? I am uh, Dan Bryan. I own the uh, Bronx Zoo. I am looking to get a new gorilla from one of our exhibits. Uh, I hear you two are the best in uh, catching this type of animal. Yeah, that's true. How much experience you got in this type of work here? A couple duck hides. Alright, uh, we're going to be hunting gorillas, you know that? I've not been native around these boxes. Are they? You gotta be careful there. Alright, thanks for the warning. Are these worth trying animals? Yeah. Okay. Have right. these hands for years. We use uh, 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 a 12 caliber gun to hunt down these beasts. Alright, okay. and you're gonna be using a. Uh, Trick a lot. Yeah, how heavy? Like how many shots you would need to take out a grill? Uh, if, you t if you do it right, you, you only need about two. Why do I need it? Uh, Preferably uh, two months where it'll be a. Uh, if I get into the heart of the summer season, it'd be nice to get a, uh, a new animal in. Right. Okay? Well, and, uh, so that'd be a uh, 40k a piece if you uh, get this grill back in uh, all food in one piece, you know. So. Okay, bye. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. The South American gorilla is one intriguing animal. It's very rare too. As you can see, it has adapted to survive and live in, in a suburban environment. Traditionally, the gorilla has lived in the jungle, but due to the increasing deforestation by humans, the gorilla has been forced to live in suburban environments and therefore has, been, has led to many problems with humans. This interaction between humans and gorillas has led to many conflicts. The gorillas train now to become stronger and be able to defeat humans and more. Although it is a very violent animal, the gorilla is also one of pleasure. It can be seen swinging on playground swing and doing other leisure activities. Alright, you ready to move in? I'm dying. You see him in the background. He's over there. I do. Right behind that tree. I think the hound's swinging. See him over there? They're rare in a gar. Alright. Release the hounds! Go get them! Oh god! Oh! Oh, he's a fighter! He's worse! He's a fighter! Shoot with the tranquilizer! I fun so died. Right, we got him, mate. Yo. Know, I think that tranquilizer is gonna have him out for a while. I'm gonna put that in a gun. Alright. Alright, we got him. We got him in here. He's too wide. I think I think he should be out for quite a while. Let's see what we got here. Alright. We just got him. We shot him two times and Trank Lads darts, one around the foot area, one around the neck. So he should be out for a few hours. But uh, these tranquilizer darts are new. We don't know exactly how long the effect will last. Oh, it so. seems to be stirring. This is where the violent nature of the gorilla plays a role in the conflict. I, oh my. He's probably just out. Uh, oh. right. oh. oh my. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. We've got to do some walking out here. 
We got him to die. <laughs> Even though they were able to remove this one from its habitat, there are many more that infest the backyards and sheds of people's homes. Gentlemen, pleasure to see you guys again. Hey, you got, my, you got me a gorilla. Yeah? Okay. So, let's talk gorilla. Uh, where'd you guys pick them up? Well, we caught them right in the border of Brazil and Chile. About okay. 800 pounds. 800 pound gorilla, man. Nice. And uh, got them all now sedated. It's sedated? It's male. Okay. Uh, you know, keep him sitting here all the time, though, right? He's in, you got a cage or something? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah, he's got a cage. And, um, and you way I can, like, see him, check him out, you know? Not, but not right now, obviously. Or, or right, you can come by. We, we have him. Okay. Uh, and the time you need. All right, yeah, I will do that. Could you have him brought to me by uh, Monday? Right, of course. Today's Friday? Yeah, right. Good. Thanks, okay. mate. Uh, thank you again. Really? Let's do it. Okay. Right. Oh, so yeah, I'm the grill. Okay. Uh, doesn't I, I think these hunters did this uh, quickly wrong. That's disgusting. Really, they should not have sent dogs on me. Blitz the hounds. They want to make that 40k. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely not showing you. They're not showing you dogs. The dogs could have badly injured me. Why don't you guys be really careful when you catch this animal? Because I mean, we're putting it on this place, so we don't want any right, any right. injuries. I have a cut right here. Can you see? I want to get a little, a little zoom in on the cut. I uh, got a tooth mark on you. Yeah. I hope my uh, new zookeeper sees that, huh? Probably like that, lose that 40k. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, you know, it doesn't matter. I I'm just the 800 pound gorilla in the room. It doesn't matter. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, Bill. I really think the gorilla is way off line when he's talking about I shouldn't use my dogs. That, that cut, he got that from Shaven. I mean, you see how much hair that fella has? He definitely got that from shaving. My dogs, they weren't hurt to fly. They're just for the fear. They're just for the fear factor when I'm hunting out there. No. No, I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of the... Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Okay. Uh, yeah, Bill, I'm in the middle of the interview. I gotta go. Okay, yeah, I'll be there. Okay. Alright, uh, you too. Bye. No, sorry. Where, uh, where are we? I mean, what is this? Some kind of pimp gorilla? How, who raised him out there? Yeah, it was kind of tough catching the gorilla there. He was, he was very frisky and he kept on flipping us off, which was kind of a problem for me because it, it, it hurts, you know? But I'm trying to do my job and I keep on getting flipped off by a gorilla. I get sometimes a little bit scared, you know? It happens. But you gotta keep your gun loaded at all times, just in case he might, you know, come after you. So you just gotta shoot him in the neck and put him in the thing. You gotta watch out, babe, because if you saw back there, you know, if you could wake up a little bit. Oh, so you got to got that under control. Right. That's basically it when it comes to hunting grills. All right, so uh, thank you guys for coming back. Yeah, you know, last time, sorry, I was a little rude, got a call and all that, but uh. Yeah, you know, I, I really want to just get one point across in the hunters. I, I didn't stress that last time. Fuck you guys. Okay? Not cool. Not cool at all, right? I was in a really good time out there in the jungle. But, you know, I was just chilling. There. I wasn't hurting no one. I was not hurting anyone. No, in no way, shape, or form. Not that I ever harmed them. No, I came in their house. I didn't go in their house with a tranquilizer gun. Or I sit dogs on them. They were just chilling on the couch, you know, right back, watch some TV, you know, you know, flipping through channels, you know, just just chilling there, like eating a banana or something, and then, oh crap, here's some hunters with some dogs and stuff. No, that did not happen, so, you know, taking me away from my wife and kids. But, you know, yeah, it, it's all right. My kids will, you know, grow up to become druggies because they didn't have a father figure uh, when they grew up. What drugs are they going to do? What are they going to do, eat bad bananas? But, uh... No, it's all right. Yeah, because the humans, they can do whatever the hell they want to do. You know? Yeah, so, uh, thanks, guys. And, you know. The gorilla shown in this documentary it has now been named Jimmy and now is safely and happily living in the Bronx Zoo. He has met many lady gorillas and is, should live the rest of his life happily ever after.